If you want to see what Klaus Schwab, founder of the World Economic Forum, has in mind for a great reset, read the book COVID-19, The Great Reset by Klaus Schwab. It's a real book. I own it. Recently, I got censored on Facebook for doing a book report on how to lie with statistics, a book that even Bill Gates recommended you read. Feel free to read it before they burn it. I need to download my new opinion today. Inflation is good for you. Don't panic over milk prices. Inflation is bad for the 1% but helps out almost everyone else. John Swartz. Sounds legit and totally trustworthy. That's now my opinion. Inflation is good for you and it's good that it's harder for me to buy groceries. The elites are shivering in their boots. Oh uh, yeah. The banking industry really cares about us. Those dark conspiracy theorists who thinks inflation bad, would you learn in a Fox News? First, the government locked down our country and crippled millions of small businesses. Then mainstream media and celebrities brainwashed people into thinking it was okay and good to burn down their own neighborhoods and cities. Then political groups raised hundreds of millions of dollars off of this incident, used it to get back into power, and since then have added more restrictions for the average citizen. And now cities are bracing for more riots. Are people done being fooled into their own self-destruction yet? Elon Musk did a Twitter poll asking if he should sell 10% of his Tesla stock and say he'd abide by the results of the poll whichever way it goes. A Democrat politician responded whether or not the world's wealthiest man pays any taxes at all shouldn't depend on the results of a Twitter poll. It's time for the billionaire's income tax. To which Elon responded, why does your pee pee look like you just came? <laughs> I thought he was talking about his genitals, but he's actually talking about his profile picture. I'm not sure if that's breaking news, but it's definitely funny. The Georgia Guidestones are a mysterious monument erected in 1980 in Elbert County, Georgia at around 19 feet and almost a quarter million pounds. It has rules written in eight different languages. And the first one is maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. Being that there's 7.8 billion people on the planet now, yikes. No one knows who did this, but the fake name given was RC Christian and many suspect it was a wealthy man since it costs a lot of money to erect something this complex. Did you know about the Georgia Godstones? Pick up a beanie, sweatshirt, or hat at godblesshats.com. The mainstream media hates my factual and accurate content. I'll be the nicest, staying peaceful in the crisis. No mask, my smile the brightest. I know the Biden and men trying to treat me and parents who care about their kids like we ISIS. Don't care the slightest. I'll be a young CEO. I got to touch like a Midas. Ain't got excuses. I'm making my moves while the senile president shitting in diapers. I'll praise to the highest. Democrats think I'm a slave. Want me submissive and quiet. I am Republicans too. I remember the Patriots. Act in the day when you signed it, I know that you liars Big Pharma lobby, both parties, that's why Trump is selling injections I'm reeling, I'm reckless, I'm destined to give you this Jimmy Kimmel claims to think racism and sexism is why Kamala Harris's approval rating is so low I think I know why Kamala's ratings are low, besides sexism and racism, which are the obvious ones The weird part is, Kamala Harris ran for president She wasn't even a top 10 contender, Iowa, she hasn't even come up on the list And in New Hampshire, you have to scroll so low to find her at 0% of the votes from Democrats was Jimmy Kimmel's party racist and sexist when they decided to reject Kamala Harris? Let me know how dumb you think the people who still believe liar Jimmy Kimmel are. The Google and Oxford definition of enslave is either to make somebody a slave or to cause someone to lose their freedom of choice or action. While I think discipline is a good thing and people shouldn't be allowed to steal or murder, our constitution was put there to put space between your private rights as a citizen and the government. Our government likes to use a crisis to pull on the heartstrings of people, to brainwash people into voting and supporting the removal of their constitutional rights. Don't fall for it. America is not a perfect country, but our freedom and God-given rights are crucial. Don't lose them. If you like those 30 second shorts, I do that on TikTok and Instagram reels. My Instagram is at dreamrare and my TikTok is at dreamrare. God bless you and have a good day.